Hi friends! Today I'm going to show you how to create your free Epic Educator account. The first thing that we are going to need to do is to navigate to this web address, getepic.com. And once you're there, you're going to click on the blue Get Started button. The account we want to create is an educator account. Once again, this is a completely free account that Epic offers for all educators. So you're going to sign up and you're going to just give them a little bit of info. Um, you're going to choose a title, whatever you want that to be. Put in your first and last name. Choose your educator role in your school, the grade that you most work with. You can also choose a reading level system. So whatever reading level system that your school prefers, um, you can choose or you can just choose none. And finally, you're going to put in your school name and address. So once you have all that information in, then you're going to click on the continue button. And the last step is to insert your educator email, so whatever email address you use for your school, and create a password. Another option, if your school uses Google Apps for Education, or Google Classroom, or even just Gmail, you can sign up with Google and access Epic that way. So whichever way you choose, you will put in that last few pieces of info and then click on create your free account. If you already have an Epic account, once again, you'll just go back to that getepic.com web address. And this time we'll click on login. And we are going to log in as a educator. So we can log in with Google if that's the way we created our account or we can just go here, enter our school email that we used and put in our password and then log in. Once you've logged in, this will be the screen that you see. So Epic does a pretty good job of kind of walking you through some different steps that you can take when you first log in, how to add students to your roster, you can add students in by their name and parent email, or you also have a class code with some student login instructions. So if your students were logging in with laptops in your classroom, you would have them go to this web address, put in the class code, and then they can select their name from your class roster that you upload here. So that's just a few quick tips for getting started with Epic. Make sure you check out the next video that will show you some more tips and tricks for using Epic, including how to save the collections from this blog post to your Epic library.